So the second season of Clarkson's Farm has come to conclusion. I've posted my eight episodes for the second season. All eight episodes of season one are out. I just I just wanted to highlight what a brilliant show it was. Just talk about the 16 episodes. Um, you know, why you should watch it, why Jeremy Clarkson is absolutely brilliant in this. Not just him, the, the people around him from Charlie, Lisa, Caleb, Gerald, the builders, the, the workers he works with, the farm animals, the way they shoot the show, the way they just do everything to educate, inform, and uh, deliver in a brilliant, brilliant agriculture and farming uh, series. I just... I, I think this show's a work of art. I think this is uh, one of the finest shows I've seen because of its perfection, its delivery, uh, each episode's connectivity, but also showing you different things, how the people in the real world, like the council and whatnot, are against Clarks and how he has to overcome those um, issues and find solutions, how Charlie's been more on board this season than he was season one. He was on board in season one. But he's been even more hands on in season two. How it was just absolutely brilliant, and you know to have watched you know episode one of season one and him having, not having a clue of what he was doing and taking on this job and bringing in sheep or then bringing in cows in the future and learning how to use a tractor and do the harvesting and mowing and breaking things and getting things stalk or having to put things down or make meat or run the farm this way, or do it this way, his relationship with Caleb. Um, it's just been an absolutely fantastic show. Um, I already spoke about this. I already released a video on, you know, whether Clark's going to be doing season three because of everything that's going on in mind. But I hope there's a third season. I hope there's a fourth and fifth and sixth and seventh because as long as all these are on the same page, as long as they want to keep doing it, as long as Clarkson wants to keep farming and, that that be like his main career going forward. I I just see there being a massive future in this show because you know I, I talked about educational informative. It's funny. It's enjoyable. It's easy. It's flowing so well. Like I said, those six seven o'clock shots of like the, the you know the fog and the mist over the sunshine and the nice fields. How you can see how where they've come from and you know where they finish. You know how how they created like the farm shot this episode um all the different avenues of people involved in the show i just I, I just found clarkson's farm to be something of a wonder you know you, you talk about spectacles and brilliant tv shows in game of thrones and breaking bad or the walking dead or friends or whatever it may be i think clarkson's farm has to go down as one of those shows because if it's a document yeah i know it's a documentary style show but the way it's delivered is delivered in such a manner that just makes you go i want to be a farmer i want to well towards the end of it it was very like watching the bear at times very stressful very intense very like oh but to be a gardener or a farmer or an agriculture or a builder or a electrician or a mechanic or a cow or whatever a butcher whatever it may be there was something for someone in this show um and it was delivered on the highest scale possible and i can only praise clarkson's farm Season one and season two for its spectacular, brilliant, overarching telling for a documentary of Clarkson getting this farm, working on the farm, and transforming it into something you can actually see over the 16 episodes. It's not something like you can't see the differences. We have seen massive differences from the shop to, as I said, the cattle, you know, seeing calves being bored. Seeing those things on camera is truly. <clears throat> incredible but obviously to see Clarkson and Caleb live it is truly uh, mesmerizing as well so if in my honest opinion I want I would like you guys to all check it out if you've not checked it out that's my that's my recommendation and if you have checked it out and you do enjoy it then do let me know down below in the comments your thoughts on season one season two season two was um <clears throat> very different because season one was very much him learning and getting the harvest ready, season two was more focused on the farm shop and trying to appease to the people in the local town and the council itself. So I think there was more 
intense and at stake in this series season. So I'm going to give Clarkson's Farm the easiest rating I've probably ever given anything, and, and it's going to be a perfect 10 out of 10 for both seasons, and both seasons alone get perfect 10 out of 10s, but as a collective, it's a perfect 10 out of 10. Probably in my top five shows of all time. Uh, it's probably statistically the best show of all time because of the rating, but yeah, it's definitely up there. It's one of the finest shows I've ever seen. It's just like I love Caleb as a person. I love Charlie, Lisa. I don't you don't really see much as Lisa, but Clark's and Charlie and Caleb are what carry this show. Gerald's hilarious because you can hardly tell what he's saying at times, but he means well. Um and it was just a fantastic show. So if you want full in-depth conversations about each episode, do check out all 16 episodes that are on the channel. This is a full-on review of what I thought. So subscribe if you're new and you enjoy this sort of content. Leave a like if you enjoy this content as well. And of course, as I said, leave any suggestions down below that you want to see on the channel and let me know down below your thoughts on Clarkson's Farb. Until next time, have a great day. Goodbye.